Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a closer look at the definition, the concept of a principle. A principle is a truth, a given, or a known. You do not need to prove it. You simply accept it as a fact. And the reason why we can is because they were empirically discovered. Now empirically, what does that really mean? Well, that's through experience, through having observations and so when we observe something we experience something over time we all accept it as simply being that is always the case another way of looking at a principle is the concept of the most important the first one the key ones that we're dealing with and usually when we try to prove something we have to have something we can kind of hang our thoughts on something that we know to be true without having to prove them because otherwise how can we prove anything if we can't start from some basic first facts that we can accept simply things that we've observed and experienced we know them to be true principles are divided into two different things one called definitions and the other one called assumptions definitions simply define or explain particular things they define what a line is what a figure is what a relationship is between the parts of a figure but that's done by definition again doesn't need to be proven or it's an assumption either we call them axioms when it deals with mathematics in general or postulates when it deals with in our case geometry specifically a good axiom would be that if a is equal to b if a and b are equals then a plus c must equal b plus c because when we add equals c and c are equal to one another to two other equals a and b then their sums must be equal and that would be considered an axiom from experience we know that's always been the case there's not a single example you can come up with that does not follow this therefore we know that to be true postulates specific to geometry which again it's an assumption which is what we call a principle here's a good example of one if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal corresponding angles are congruent we know that by experience for example here's one line and here's a second parallel line if we now draw another line across these two this is called the transversal then corresponding angles are congruent what is a corresponding angle this angle and this angle are called corresponding angles and they are equal in size and therefore they're called congruent angles that is what we call a postulate we don't need to prove that we know that of course to make that statement as part of a proof we have to say that based on this particular postulate we have to be able to name it we have to say it's this postulate we can make that statement once we can make that statement we can then use that statement as part of a series of statements to make a proof again we'll see lots of examples of that so now we understand principles better they came first we didn't need to prove them we know them to be true simply from experience and we've never seen them act otherwise for example we've never seen a counter example that say oh this principle cannot be true they're always true from experience from observation and so we use them as a basis a bunch of them to be able to prove other things that's what we mean with a principle